Basta't ang sikreto talaga ng lahat ng mga tinigbig o tumilupan kailan sa liwang sa liwang. Oh, okay. Okay. Para sa atin, para sa atin lang ang layan eh. Hey, I learned something new today. It's easy, right? Bakit, Pangulo, pinakamataas na posisyon sa Pilipinas, ano ang iyong pangarap? para sa bansa. Una-una, malampasan na natin sa pandemya. Uh, uh, ang marami tayong na uh, kailangan gawin para maibalik ang uh, mga Pilipino sa trabaho. Kung paano uh, ma, uh, yung mga long-term na pangangailangan, yung mga infrastructure natin, mga digital, yung mga agri, healthcare. Some have said that this uh, presidential bid is somewhat of an obsession to vindicate your surname so that the bid is more personal than it is patriotic. What is your response to that? I've always been confused with that question. How does anybody vindicate somebody? Kahit na lahat ng ginawa ko ay maganda, hindi magbabago yung ginawa ng aking father. Related to that, um, despite everything that had been said about the family since the 80s, you are front-running right now. Mabango ka sa surveys sa mga panahon ngayon. To what would you attribute that? Some people say that history was revised online. What, do you, what, what is your response to that? Show me. Show me what is revisionism. From our, from our part, from our side, whatever you want to show me. Anything that we have said, we can prove that this actually happened. Kaya kung minsan, yung mga bata, usually mga estudyante, nagtatanong yan. Sinasabi, yung mga kaaway ninyo, ito yung sinasabi sa inyo. Alam namin, propaganda yan. Na kung minsan meron din kayo sinasabi na baka palaban lang doon sa propaganda. Ano ba talaga ang nangyari? Pero lagi kong tinatapos, sinasabi ko, huwag lang kayong makikinig sa akin. Hindi, anak ako ni Marcos eh. Di siyempre para sa akin. Maganda yung mga ginawa niya. Mag-aaral kayo, tingnan ninyo, magpasa kayo ng libro para you come to your own opinion. So do you have troll farms? People keep saying that. Find me one. That's my challenge. Hanapan mo ako kahit isa. At napag-uusapan ng pagkakaisa, you have mouth unity. How do you intend to, for that to happen? Anong uri ng mga tao at anong kulay ng mga tao ang papaligid sa inyo? sa inyong pamamahala. Yun lang. Yung magagaling. Regardless of color. <coughs> Bas, kasi, pag sinasabi mo, hindi kayo pwede, as or them na naman dito. Ah, dito kami-kami lang. And doon sila, sila, hindi sila pwede. Ano yun? Hindi naman, hindi naman, walang mangyayari sa atin. Kung gobyerno lang ang gagawa, wala naman mangyayari. Kung private sector lang ang gagawa, kulang pa yan. Kung dalawang puntao lang ang magtatrabaho, kulang yan. Kailangan lahat magkaisa. Kapag kayo po'y palaring manalo, kayo po'y manunumpa sa Saligang Batas uh, ng 1987, and it has been described as a response uh, to what was seen as the excesses of the former constitution of 1973 under your father's administration. So, manunumpa po kayo sa kasalukuyang sa Ligang Batas. Kayo po ba ay for charter change? Papalitan niyo po ba ang ilang posisyon sa, sa Ligang Batas na pangkasalukuyan? But I don't see it as being a priority. We have this pandemic to deal with. We have this economy that we have to, that we have to, we have to recover. So, what is your response to the question that you are, or if you are your father's son. And of course, of course, you are your father's son. But I think what they mean is how much of a president that he was will you be? Hindi ko siya gagayahin. Meron siya, maybe in concept, uh, like the vertical integration of the entire agricultural system down to the retail. You know, that concept, gagayahin natin. We'll do it a different way. Infrastructure, gagayahin natin. Na, lahat naman ng presidente, ginawa yan. Kailangan talaga infrastructure. Kulang lagi ng infrastructure. You know, the concept. But you know, hindi, hindi yung gagayahin mo lang yung ginawa dati. Uh, dahil, yun na, nagbago na. Nagbago ng Pilipinas. How do you respond to that? Pag naririnig mo yung diktador, dating diktador, ikaw ba'y diktador? <laughs> uh, 
Siyempre, ang mga nagsasabi nyo, yung ganito sa natay ko. So, tinatawag siyang ganun. So, again, politikin eh. The Comelec has said that if you are disqualified after victory, Sara Duterte, if she wins, bilang vice president at mananalo din siya. At kung matuloy ang disqualification, siya ang magiging presidente. Do you think this scenario is possible? Uh, yes, if I am disqualified. Are you threatened by the disqualification case against? Of course. Uh, you, you, you cannot, you take, I take everything seriously. I worry about everything, so, but I do not let it distract me from the campaign. Drugs, how do you respond? To that. Simple. I took a test and I got a negative result. That's my answer. Are you going to follow through with the anti-drug policy of government? Well, the, the problem continues to exist. There is still a, drug, a big drug problem in the Philippines, so we have to continue to work against it. Enforcement only takes you so far. We have to look at the other side of it. We have to look at the prevention side. Imelda Marcos in world history ha uh, has a checkered description. What will your wife Lisa's role be in your government? What happened when I was governor? Dumipat kami sa... She couldn't practice. Abogado si Lisa. Nanturo siya. So she has been teaching since then. So I think maybe she'll do something like that or she'll do... The other thing she did while she was in the law was, was to provide free legal services. What is your policy on corruption? The same as everybody. We want to remove it because of its corrosive effect on government and the people's on, on, on our society um, but we have to do a better job why should the Filipinos vote for BBM what are the best things about a BBM presidency it will be inclusive it will be constantly in search of excellence and we will bring a wealth of experience and talent to government